What a good God we serve. Just love on him a minute, would you? I don't know what it feels like to you tonight, but to me, I feel like I'm in revival. Amen. He's so good to us. He loves us so much that he went away to prepare a place for you and I. And when we get to that place, the most exciting thing is that Jesus is going to be there. The man who paid the price. Our creator is going to be there. Our loved ones are going to be there. Isn't that something to be excited about? Amen, 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 Pastor. I can't wait to go to a society where there'll never be no more sorrow. I can't wait to go to a place, church, there'll never be no more pain. No more disappointment. No more heartache. No more grief. No more flat tires. Thank you. You know, how many of y'all were here last time we were here? <laughs> Just about all of you. So you know what a hard time we had getting here last time. I mean, it was terrible. We like to never got here. And, and we were so late when we got here. We were, were we two hours late? We should have got a whipping for that. We were, I remember we were so lost. And it seemed like we just kept driving around. It was like, remember that old movie, The Twilight Zone or whatever? I'm telling my age. But I remember that movie. And it, it was just, it was like the Twilight Zone. We just kept driving and driving. That wasn't a movie. It was a series then, Smarty Pants. But we, we just kept driving and driving and driving and driving. Well, what if I don't want my mic fixed? <laughs> but, um, but we got here so late. I remember y'all were so kind and so gracious and and you understood what we had been through because we come in, we was a wreck. Uh, Sherry, we was a wreck. And um, we come in and, and we were so, one of the things that tore us up the most is Dad didn't have time to change clothes. Do y'all remember his Jesus sandals he had on that night? And it's, and it, no, that was like pajama pants, sweatpants, or something like that. He sang in those that night. I ain't kidding. If you weren't here, you missed it. But I said, we left here, and I said, Lord, they'll never have us back. <laughs> and here we are. But guess what? We had a flat tire on the way here. There's something about the Hoskins family in Tolesboro. I want to say this, too. There, there was... Uh, you know, there's another church here in Tolesboro that we sung their uh, homecoming at back in the summer. Sherry, I don't know if you know what church I'm talking about. East Fork. East Fork. What, what? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and I tell y'all what, he was here that night of the revival, that the man that booked us, and that we sung and we was two hours late. I promise y'all, he called us constantly till we made it to his church. They even sent somebody to meet us and take us to the church. They were tore all to pieces afraid we wasn't going to get there. Imagine that. Anyway, we are thrilled to be here tonight. And we're here to worship the Lord with you. We're here to sing something. We're here to say something that's going to bless you some way, somehow tonight. And uh, we're not going to take time introducing the group or anything like that. We're going to go straight on uh, with our set tonight. But um, if you would do me a favor, look over at your neighbor on the left. I don't remember if I told y'all this last time he's here or not. I'm going to tell you again, even if I do. Look at your neighbor on the left and say, you sure look good tonight. <laughs> Now I want you to look 
look at your neighbor on the right. Look at your neighbor on the right. And I want you to say this. I wish you looked half as good as my neighbor on the left. <laughs>